and Sarah Wheeler and these are your all-star Astro Tarot readings for this week. Aries, your general card is a Seven of Wands. This week you need to stand your ground and find your way around other people's frustrations. Just know that it's not you and that they have the problems and you will be okay. Be strong in your confidence and carry on regardless. Aries, your love card is the chariot. In your relationships, you need to allow old patterns that you keep defaulting back to, to finally fall away. Once you do this, you will be in a much better place and you will be able to move forwards at speed. Taurus, your general card is the Nine of Swords. You need to take control over a situation and work out how you're going to get the best outcome. Just worrying about everything isn't going to help. Be proactive and give priority to where it needs to be given and then set about executing your plan. Taurus, your love card is the Ten of Swords. You have come to the end of a particular journey. You cannot continue in the way that you have been doing. In essence, you need to make a massive about turn and do everything completely different. Once you can, you will feel a lot better. Gemini. Your general card is the Three of Swords, my favourite Cinderella card. You cannot keep putting yourself down and giving your mind a hard time. The more you think about what you need to do, and not do anything because you don't think you're good enough to do it, then you'll stay being Cinderella. Find your inner queen. Gemini, your love card is the Ace of Wands. This card embraces passion and creativity. However, with your current frame of mind, don't turn the passion into anger. Be bold and be brave and turn yourself around and you will see immediate difference in your relationship area. Blazer Trail. Cancer, your general card is a Two of Pentacles. This week will be about a fine balancing act and being able to take on board what comes towards you. However, whatever the adversity is, you know you can take it in your stride and you know that you will come out of everything in a good way, believe. And so your love card is a strength card. Even though everyone else has problems, you're a natural empath and like to help everyone so life can be better for them. While you do this, ensure that you are strong within yourself and give yourself priority too. Leo, your general card is the Knight of Cups. Good things are coming towards you this week, so make sure you know what to accept and how to accept it. In short, just say thank you and get back to what you were doing. Embrace all the good things in life and keep moving forwards. Leo, your love card is a Five of Swords. It's very easy to think that you have done something wrong and give yourself a hard time in your relationship area. However, what if it's not about you? Look at the situation and be honest with yourself and know that you're okay. Virgo, your general card is the Page of Pentacles. This is a great week for a new creative project and learning to get underway. What is it you would like to do and what is it that's stopping you? Once you have the answer, then you can set about putting everything in place. Virgo, your love card is the Two of Cups. Balance, harmony and everything. Just how you'd like it, Virgo. Your relationship area this week will give you all that you want. Embrace all that is on offer and make sure you keep everything at 50-50 and you will be okay. Libra, your general card is a page of cups. There's a great opportunity to start taking new steps towards a new future. Make your plans now and know what you need to start moving forwards. No time to delay, as once you start the process, the ball will roll quickly. Libra, your love card is the four of wands. You're coming into a better time in your romantic area. You have been tested of late and you have learned a few lessons. Now you can relax and allow yourself to enjoy and make headway for future arrangements. Scorpio, your general card is the Fool. When we get this card, which is the first one on the Fool's journey, we are being reminded not to bring outdated aspects from the past. So now is the time to be strong and brave and ditch the fears and apprehensions that have plagued you of the past. All will be okay. Scorpio, your love card is the Ace of Cups. This card wants to bring you everything that you desire. However, are you ready for it? It can be overbearing and over-emotional for us when we are given to in a certain way. Now is the time to be the smart monkey and accept it all and enjoy all that it brings. Sagittarius, your general card is the Five of Wands. You need to stand up for what you want and not let anyone else influence you. What you know, you know. 
They, in, they can help you all they like, but you will do what you want to. Just know they might not be too happy about it. Never mind. Sagittarius, your love card is the wheel. In relationships, we are constantly in a power struggle, wanting the other to do what we want them to do, and then the other way around. This card urges you to make whatever the problems are at the moment, and to find a simple solution so that you can keep everything in balance. Capricorn, your general card is the Two of Wands. You have the world at your fingertips right now. Keep working on everything that you're currently dealing with, and your outcome will be exactly how you're desiring it to be. You cannot go too far wrong at the moment. Capricorn, your love card is the Nine of Wands. There can be a sense of relief in your relationship area this week. You have been under pressure for a while and you have had to think outside of the box and it wasn't easy. This week you will see how far you have come and you can be proud. Aquarius, your general card is the King of Cups. You are still in a period where you are having to take the lead in situations around you. However, you have the strength to handle everything in the correct way. Just remember to find some time for you to recharge. Aquarius, your love card is the High Priestess. You know what you want and you can make that happen in your relationship area. You know you have plenty of support too. This week, give yourself the time and reassess everything and see how you want to go forwards. Pisces, your general card is the King of Swords. While certain elements have tested you lately, you still have the determination to continue forwards with your plan. Do this as you have everything in place to have exactly what you're focusing on, and it will give you the freedom that you seek. Pisces, your love card is Temperance. Make sure you're number one in your romantic movie this week. You're very good at giving others priority, but now is the time for you to do that for you. Once you do, you'll achieve something that you deeply desire. 